Hello folks and welcome back to the Red Arrow. In today in oh, blah, blah, blah. in today's exciting arrow uh installment we will be giving uh the vehicle automatic precharge but in a very simple way. So presently with our DC controller system um the precharge is controlled manually. Uh, when we turn the ignition on, the negative side contactor closes. Uh, the main contactor on the positive side is bypassed by the precharge resistor, which lets our big DC bus capacitor charge up. We then need to turn our key briefly to the start position, uh, which will then cause a 12 volt relay here to engage and turns on the power to the main contactor, thus bypassing the uh, precharge resistor and letting us drive the vehicle. Now, the problem there is that it'd be very easy for someone or even myself to do it accidentally and just get in the vehicle and just turn the key all the way to the start position, thus bypassing precharge and potentially causing damage either to our contactors or controller, and that's something that we wish to avoid. So, there are many different ways and kind of complicated ways of doing pre-charging circuits, uh, microcontrollers, all sorts of things, but I was just thinking, what is uh, the kind of minimum and simplest way that we can possibly do that? I came up with uh, this little circuit here. It's ridiculously simple. Uh, so much so that I've built it on a bit of plain matrix board. Uh, it's not even strip board, it's just basically hand soldered like old electro electronics from the past. And what we have here, that basically the heart of the whole thing is a little um, optocoupler with a photothyristor output. And um, so on the input side of it, we have a 100 volt Zener diode and some series resistance. So when our DC bus voltage, which we will connect here on this green block, uh, once that has risen above, eh, depending on our component choice, about 110 volts, the photo LED uh, in this guy here will basically trigger the thyristor on, uh, which will then turn on this 12 volt relay and that will then control the main contactor for us. So very, very simple circuit. I've tested it on the bench and um, it seems to work. So I'm gonna install it in the vehicle today and we'll find out if it does indeed uh, prove adequate. Um, there'll be full details of, of this. I have a little circuit diagram on that on a GitHub page and I'll put a link in the description for you. So. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to go ahead and we'll wire this guy into our control box here and hopefully have automatic pre-charging. Okay, so our little pre-charge board is now installed here. Um, so we're basically, we supply it 12 volts here um, from the ignition on posi position. What I decided to do then was to loop my start, um, my, uh, this wire here goes to 12 volts when you turn the key to the start. So I've looped that through the normally open contact on the relay. So once our voltage gets above, let's say about 110 volts, that relay closes and then we can click the key to start and trigger our system on. So that's basically working. We'll get in the car now, give you a quick demo of this, and then we can tidy up the wiring. So, not gonna see much, but um, normally what we would have, have had to do here is we'd have had to wait, um, just look at the uh, voltage here on the JLD, make sure, and then wait and turn our key to start uh, to turn off the 
you know, to engage, I'm not making sense, to engage the uh, main contactor. But now I can just turn the key all the way to start and my pre-charge is done and my car starts up. So that's it. And I can do this as many times as I like and there's no risk of us um, damaging contactors or uh, controller or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up the wiring here and mount that little board just on the front of the enclosure. And then that's pretty much our wiring is done on this vehicle. That was the last kind of a niggling thing that I needed to do. Uh, Got to do these straps on the batteries, um, weld on the patches, and then we're good to take this uh, car to the NCT. So that's about it, guys. Bit of a quick update for you, but as I say, quite an important um, element for any vehicle, be it, you know, simple DC like this all the way up to the most advanced AC systems. They all need to have pre-charging. Um, as I say, there'll be a link in the description to GitHub where I'll have a little circuit diagram uh, for that guy available. It's about five bucks worth of parts. And you don't need any programming. You just program it by choosing the Zener diodes and resistors. Uh, so that's about it. Um, so we will see you in the next exciting episode. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And say check links in the description for uh, GitHub for all the various open source projects that I do. And also in there, Patreon and PayPal in case you wish to financially support any of this madness. There is also a link for the openinverter.org forum. I would invi invite you to head over there and register. So, until next time. Happy pre-charging.